I'm Hugh and Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Thomas Wines Braymore Cellar Reserve Semillon 2013 from the Hunter Valley. So the backstory to this is Thomas Wines was, uh, is a family business, Andrew Thomas and his wife and family. And uh, Tom, Andrew was a, a winemaker at Tyrrell's before he started out on his own. So a lot of the winemakers in the Tyrrell's uh, in, in the region of the Hunter started off working for Tyrrell's and as a, as a result, there are a lot of very good winemakers around, especially those who make great semillon. The Raymore Vineyard is this, uh, this wine's source. The Braymore Vineyard is on Hermitage Road by Colburn, which is a strip of two kilometres of sandy soil along what used to be a creek bed in the ancient past. Sandy riverbed soils and some of the greatest vineyards for Semion in the Hunter Valley are actually planted on that soil. You have Tyrrell's HVD Vineyard, you have Trevina, you have Braymore, you have Casuarina and you have Keith Tullock's Field of Mars Vineyard. They're all great Semion vineyards. So, uh, Tomo, Andrew Thomas, has been buying grapes from this vineyard for a long time from the owner, Ken Bray. But a couple of years ago, Ken Bray decided to sell up and move out and he sold it to Andrew. So Andrew actually owns this vineyard now. Um, it is the best fruit, or best semion fruit that Andrew sees every vintage, he tells me. Uh, there is something special about it. It's got the X factor. Uh, and for him to own this vineyard now is, is a terrific thing. He releases most of this wine as a young wine, so within a year of its vintage. About 80% of the Braymore would be on sale within a year of its vintage. But the 20% that he keeps back, he releases six years later as a cellar reserve semillon. And it's a specially chosen batch of that semillon to be a wine which ages well, which will reward keeping and which will be terrific at six years of age. And that's what we've got. So how does this wine taste? As you'd expect from a very, very good Hunter Semillon from an excellent vintage and a great vineyard, it's aging very slowly and you can notice that first from the colour. It's still got a light to mid yellow colour at six years of, or more than six years of age now. It's nearly eight years of age. The nose, it's starting to, to develop the toastiness that you get with aged Hunter Semillon. Eventually it will get some honey and some buttery characters as well, but at the moment it's just beautifully fresh, slightly floral semillon fruit with that light patina of toastiness over the top of it. It's an amazing wine considering its age. You would think it was a lot younger than that. Let's have a taste. Wow, it's so refreshing. It's lip smacking that wine. It's so lively, it's vivacious. It's got plenty of acidity. It's crisp and, and refreshing. It really makes you want to eat something with it. I'm looking around for an oyster or something. There aren't, aren't any here, unfortunately. Lemon, verbena kinds of aromas. A touch of chamomile, a touch of lemon, uh, lemon juice, that is. Uh, all sorts of uh, citrusy characters in there and some dried flowers uh, aromas as well. The acidity really charges this wine with vitality. It is a magnificent wine. Very, very long aftertaste. It's very low alcohol. It's only about 10.5%, 10.7% alcohol. So it's not the alcohol that gives this wine its power or its length. It's just the intensity of the fruit and the vitality of that fruit. Very long aftertaste. Um, it's really just entering, I think, the peak drinking window now. How do we score this wine? We gave it 96 out of 100, which is a high gold ribbon score. It's almost a trophy. In fact, it could be a trophy winning score if you're in a wine show. It is that good. Um, it was a top rank wine because it, were rate, it rated number five out of 53 semions from that vintage from the Hunter Valley. Five out of 53, that's a very high ranking. We've said drink it uh, from about now to another 10 years, no problem. This wine is going to be at least 15 years, maybe 20 years uh, lifespan. It's a sensational wine. So what should we match this with in the way of food? Um, I, when, I th when I taste this wine, it's so delicate, so intense and so refined and so crisp 
it just makes me think of crab. Um, you can have crab pretty much any way you like, although I wouldn't have Singapore chili crab noodles or anything like that. I'd probably have something less spicy. And I'm, I'm thinking right now of Guillaume Brahimi's uh, crab sandwiches that he used to serve at, at Benelong when he was at the Benelong restaurant. Um, he's probably still serving, serving them wherever he is, but they were creamy, um, white bread filled with, cra with a crab uh, filling, which was just sensational with, young, with semions of any age, really. I can't imagine anything better with this wine. Good health.